Hi, today we're going to be installing a Hobbs or horizontal overhead bicycle storage system made by NOAA Industries in Melbourne, Florida. The items we'll need are the Hobbs, of course, as we see, the hardware, a socket wrench, I'm going to use a stud finder as well, tape measure, safety glasses and pencil, a drill with a 3 inch bit, as well as the Hobbs instructions itself. Now up to this point I've already gone through the manual thoroughly and ensured that I understand how to do the layout and the requirements for installing the Hobbs. In addition to this you'll also need a ladder and I may use two ladders today because I'm going to be doing the installation single-handedly. Okay for my installation I'm going to install the corner of the hobs right at the corner of my attic um, stairs framing. To uh, make the unit as square as possible, I'm going to presume that this framing on the attic stairs is straight or perpendicular to the walls, etc. So I'm going to draw a couple of lines using that framing. Okay, so basically my Hobbs corner is going to be right here. And next I need to verify where the uh, studs are located. I'm going to use a stud finder for that. And there should be one right here by the frame. There's part of it. So not surprisingly, it is right there. And there should be another one. 24 inches out. So. Yeah, there we are. Let's verify that that's at 24 inches. And again, you want to make sure that you hit the center of these studs. Yeah, so we should be perfect here. Great. So now I'm going to come over one inch to allow a little bit of clearance. Maybe I'll go an inch and a half. And that will be the center line, or the center for the, my first hole. The other hole is going to be four and five sixteenths over from the first hole which would be right here. And then of course we need to go out 24 inches from here. Double checking the measurements. checking these things but just want to make sure that we're in the right spot. from there. And I'm going to double check the depth. I think in actuality what I'm going to do is drill this hole, this hole, and this hole, get the hobs installed, and then put the fourth hole in rather than risk getting out of square. So let's get at it. Of course, always wearing safety glasses.
definitely hitting the center of a stud. That's our truss. That's what we want. Okay, what I've done here is added a second ladder with the top rung roughly a foot down from the ceiling. That's going to support part of the hobs while I'm standing on the ladder and doing the rest of the installation. You need to be careful here. Second hand wouldn't be a bad idea, but we should be able to do this. Single hand over here. Yep, looks like it's lining up well. This should work also. Part of it resting on my shoulder. I'm going to get one of the bolts going on this side. We're in good shape. Excellent. Another good reason to have the second ladder. These now put the fourth one. Oh, you can really feel it biting into the 
the start of the set is good. Okay. This is not going anywhere. Okay, now that we have the hobs mounted, it's time to test it and uh, do the final adjustments for the bicycle. It's important to note that you should always stand behind the hobs and lowering it and lowering the slide on the boom. So, coming up from behind, I'm going to pull it down. Now, this will take some more force than normal because at this point, there's not the weight of a bicycle on there to assist you. Next, we're going to completely lower the slide on the boom. Now again, this will take some extra force because there's no weight to help. I'll just slide it all the way down. There, until it catches in the securing hole at the bottom. Next, we'll make the adjustments for the bicycle. Okay, now we're going to do the final adjustments for the particular bicycle. And to do that, first we need to remove the two plastic caps from the bottom of each arm. Then by turning counterclockwise, we can move the two pegs, spread the arms out, and then slide off the protective foam. Now reinstall the pegs temporarily. But basically on the left peg, what we're going to want to do is try to get it up under the uh, seat here. So by raising the peg and, ra and bringing the arm out, it's pretty easy to get that adjusted right there. And now on the front, ideally you'd like to get it all the way up underneath the, uh, right behind the steering column. However, on this particular bicycle, it has very wide handlebars, so I've got to allow for it to turn a certain amount so that it can get up close to the ceiling. Yeah, that should do it. Now I've got both arms tightened and I'm going to try out the unit. Again, standing behind it. release the catch, and you'll be amazed at how effortlessly it slides up and latches into position. So I think we're in a good position here for the uh, pegs. So I'm going to bring it back down, and again, it's extremely well counterbalanced. So at this point, I've removed the bicycle again. I've marked on the arms where each peg assembly goes, as well as marked where they're, uh, how far out they're spread. So I simply slide the peg down. I went ahead and cut the, uh, the foam into two pieces so that the, uh, it can be installed. I'm going to reinstall the peg assembly to the mark that I just made. Tighten it very securely and then slide the other piece of foam onto the base and reinstall the plastic cap. Simply going to repeat on the other side. And 
finally, I'm simply going to make sure that these, these two bolts are nice and secure to hold the arms in place. This is using uh, 7 16 inch wrenches. So now we'll bring the bicycle over again. So now we've got the pegs fully adjusted, the foam cut, everything's tightened up, the hops is now ready for use, so let's try it out. Simply a matter of grabbing the latch, pulling it out, again, everything from behind, and it very effortlessly slides up. And there's the latches in the top. And then from behind, just simply give it a little push, guide it with the rope so it doesn't slam up, and there you have it. Your Hobbs is fully installed and ready for use. You should get a lifetime of enjoyment out of it, and we hope you appreciate the advantage of the Hobbs. Thank you.